Today we are going to discuss intermediate coordination numbers in which coordination number 5 is going to discuss. Myself Dr. Digna Vargis. Number 5 Coordination number 5 was considered almost rarer than coordination number 4 and 6. Many of the compounds which might appear to be 5 coordinate on the basis of stoichiometry are found upon close examination to have other coordination numbers. You can see some examples given here. Here you can see a fluoroaluminate allium complex and here cesium chlorocobaltate complex and ammonium chlorosingate complex and here the cobalt complex. These are found to be or appear to be 5 coordinate on the basis of stoichiometry but upon close examination this to have other coordination numbers. Thallium fluoroaluminate Tl2-ALF5 is composed of infinite chains of fluorine ALF4 fluorine in which the coordination number of the aluminium is found to be 6. Okay, and here you can see the CS3, COCl5 and NH4 thrice zinc Cl5 contain discrete tetrahedral MCl5 minus anions and free chloride ions. So, the thallium compound is of coordination number 6 for aluminium. In the cesium compound, the cobalt is in 4 coordinate complex and for zinc complex, it is found to be tetrahedral structure. In the case of Cl, COCl2 diene, here you can see the complex of cobalt chloride and diethylene triamine. Ligand diene is diethylene triamine. It is a tridentate ligand. You can see its formula NH2CH2CH2 ethylene part. Here also one ethylene part. So it is a diethylene triamine. That is 1 NH2, NH here and NH2 here. So it can coordinate the cobalt metal to these three nitrogen. So it acts as a tridentate ligand. The diene is a, its density is 3. So it acts as a tridentate ligand. It is not a 5 coordinate complex. COCl2 diene is not a 5 coordinate complex. Diene is a tridentate ligand and Cl2, there is two more chloride ions attached to the cobalt atom. It is appeared to be 5 coordinate complex, but it is not a 5 coordinate molecule. But a salt of COC diene twice, COCl4, containing octahedral cations and tetrahedral anions. The, this compound is Existing like this, CO diene twice, COCl4, that is octahedral cations and tetrahedral anions. If electrostatic forces were the only forces operating bonding, the five coordinate compounds would always disproportionate into four and six coordinate species, as in COCl2 diene. You can see here, COCl2 diene is split into two. Compounds by CO diene to a COCl4. Okay, if it is found, might appear to be 5 coordinate, but it is split into or disproportionate into 4 and 5, 6, sorry, 6 coordinate species. Covalent bonding is obviously of great importance in coordination compounds. It is possible to have stable 5 coordinate complexes. To discuss a complex of nickel in which NiPnP X2 is the general formula of this compound and PnP is C6H5 twice P CH2 CH2 NR CH2 CH2 P C6H5 twice. It's a phosphine type ligands and it is a true 5 coordinate 
species okay this compound is five coordinate species but it is warming slightly this compound split into two compounds NiPnPx twice NiX4 that is you can see it contains this compound contains both the square planar and tetrahedral species Another related compound is MX2 ET4 diene. We know diene ligand. Here, metal may be cobalt or nickel. ET4 diene is ET twice diene, that is diethylene triamine, in which two hydrogen atoms of each nitrogen, terminal nitrogen, replaced by two ethyl groups. Therefore, ET4 diene. Metal is cobalt or nickel. In this compound, the cobalt complex is found to be 5 coordinate. It is a true 5 coordinate compound. But nickel compound is 4 coordinate, that is, exist as NIX ET4 diene X. Okay, this is a 4 coordinate. One halide ion is outside the coordination sphere. So here two examples. One is NIPNPX2. It is a true 5 coordinate species but on warming slightly it is split into a square planar species and a tetrahedral species. In the case of MX2 ET4 diene, metal is cobalt. Cobalt is a complex is a 5 coordinate one and nickel complex is a 4 coordinate complex. Geometry of coordination number 5. We know the geometry of coordination number 5. One is trigonal bipyramidal. It is abbreviated as TBP. Its symmetry is D3H. You can see a trigonal bipyramidal structure for CUCL5 compound. There is axial bonds and equatorial bonds. Square pyramidal structure abbreviated as SP and its symmetry is C4V. Here you can see a square pyramidal structure of NiCN5. Here you can see the square planar or planar bond length is same 1.87 and its axial one is 2.17. In the case of TBP structure, the equatorial bonds are 2.391 bond length and axial one is 2.296. The difference between the various structures are often slight. The energy barriers tending to prevent interconversion are also small. So, they, this structure can be interconverted. Trigonal bipyramidal interconverted to square pyramidal. Or square pyramidal later converted to trigonal bipyramidal because the energy differences between the different structures are often slight and the energy barriers are also slight that tending to prevent interconversion are also small. So there is a conversion or interconversion between the structures is possible. The complexes can be described trigonal bipyramidal or square pyramidal. That can be a regular structure or maybe distorted trigonal square pyramidal or trigonal bipyramidal structure or highly distorted structure. So that is something between the TBP and SP. Distortion is something between the TBP and SP. As we have seen, however, every intermediate structure between perfectly TBP and perfectly SP is also possible. But most of the cases, there is some distortion occurs. A square pyramidal complex would have C4V symmetry if all the ligands are identical. And the trigonal bipyramidal complex would have D3H symmetry with the, all the ligands are identical. Otherwise, its symmetry will be also other than D3H or C4V. Okay. We are discussing the pentacyanonicalate 2 salts. 
Here, a delicate balance between the poses favoring the trigonal bipyramidal versus square pyramidal structures are two pentasinonuclate two salts with different but very similar cations. Tris 13 diaminopropane chromium 3 pentasinonuclate 2 CRTN3 NiCN5 contains square pyramidal anions. NiCN5 minus is a a square pyramidal anion that we have already seen and its chromium part is also there. Here you can see it is a pentasinonicolate 2 salt. Okay, with the two different cations. One is nickel and the other one is chromium. But crystalline tris ethylene diamine chromium 3 pentasinonicolate that is CREN price. NiCN5 1.5 H2O. Its formula is tris ethylene diamine chromium 3 pendacino nickelate 2 sesquihydrate. Contains both the square pyramidal anions that is NiCN5 and slightly distorted trigonal bipyramidal anion CREN thrice. Okay. So in these Two examples CRTN3, NICN5, and CREN3, NICN5. This contains a trigonal bipyramidal versus square pyramidal structures. There is a delicate balancing of forces. The evidence for these structures is first obtained by the IR spectroscopy, infrared spectroscopy, and Raman spectroscopy. Of this solid exhibit two sets of bands, one of which disappears when the sesquihydrate is dehydrated. Okay. In aqueous solution, the structure is apparently also square pyramidal. Square pyramidal structures is inherently more stable, but the hydrated crystal can stabilize a trigonal bipyramidal structure. This compound NiCN5 contains both try square pyramidal anions and a distorted slightly distorted trigonal bipyramidal anions here you can see the nicn5 part sometimes act as square pyramidal geometry and nicn5 in sometimes some cases it slightly distorted trigonal bipyramidal structure so there is a delicate balance between the forces favoring TBP versus SP structures. Once again, I will tell you, NiCN5 molecule or complex anionic part that contains both square pyramidal anions and slightly distorted trigonal bipyramidal anions. The evidence is obtained from the spectral studies. Okay. Realizations. On the basis of ligand repulsions alone, the trigonal bipyramid is favored. Every 5 coordinate compound with a non metallic central element, such as phosphorus pentafluoride, here the central element is phosphorus, has the TBP structure, that is, trigonal bipyramidal structure. Since effects arising from incompletely filled d orbitals are not present here, we should expect D0 and D10 configuration to favor the TBP structure. A trigonal bipyramidal shape minimizes the ligand-ligand repulsions, but steric constraints on ligands that can bond through more than one side to a metal atom can favor a square pyramidal structure. The relative energies of the orbitals in trigonal bipyramidal D3H versus square pyramidal C4V geometry. Here you can see the energy level diagram. The D1, D2, D3 and D4 configurations should also favor TBP versus SP as much as more since the E double dash orbitals of D3H are more stable than E orbitals of C4V. Here you can see the D3H symmetry that is for trigonal bipyramidal structure and C4V symmetry for TA square pyramidal structure. In this 
ee double dash orbitals of t3h are more stable than e orbitals of c4e so d1 d2 d3 and d4 configurations should favor trigonal bipyramidal structure than square pyramidal structure low spin d6 should favor the square pyramidal configuration since the e orbitals of the square pyramidal configuration lower in energy than the e dash orbitals of a trigonal bipyramidal complex so in for the d6 configuration here two electrons 2 2 then 2 2 low spin configuration d6 configuration e is the ground level for c for v and for e dash is the level for tbp structure so in this comparing these two orbitals or these two energy levels tb c for v structure c for v symmetry square pyramidal structure is more stable so low spin d6 configuration favor the square pyramidal configuration for d8 the order of stability again switches back to favor the tbp structure you can see here e dash is lower in energy than a1 okay here comparing these two energy levels for c4 it is higher when compared to d3h symmetry so d4 d8 configuration the stability again switches to tbp structure than square pyramidal structure so d1 d2 d3 d4 favors trigonal by pyramidal and d8 or the order of stability again favor to trigonal by pyramidal but low spin d6 should favor square pyramidal configuration so d1 d2 d3 d4 d8 d9 and d10 favor tbp structure low spin d6 favor the square pyramidal configuration square pyramidal phi coordination is found among the biologically important porphyrins where the ligand ring enforces a square planar structure and a fifth ligand attaches above the plane that forms a square pyramidal phi coordination compound you can see here the four nitrogen of the porphyrin ring system which is attached to the iron atom and forms a four coordination and above to this attached to the histidine unit that is nitrogen so it is a converted this compound is as a square pyramidal phi coordination compound structure shows a part of the active center of myoglobin the oxygen transport protein the oxygen storage protein the location of the iron atom above the plane of the ring is important to its function if it is a hemoglobin it is a oxygen transport protein in some cases the phi coordination is induced by a polyidentate ligand containing a donor atom that can bind to an axial location of a trigonal bipyramid with its remaining donor atoms reaching down to the three equatorial positions ligands that force a trigonal bipyramidal structure in this fashion are called tripodal okay here you can see a phi coordination induced by a polyidentate ligand you can see here the polyidentate ligand is nch2 ch2 nme2 that is a here two nitrogen ligands is coordinated to the metal atom so it is a bidentate ligand so it is a polyidentate ligand and it is bind always to, through the axial positions of a trigonal bipyramidal with its remaining donor atoms reaching down to the three equatorial positions one is axial and the other one is equatorial positions so this type of ligands one is here equatorial one is here equatorial one is here equatorial and one is on the axial position this type of coordination fashion are called tripodal 
it is also a square pyramidal structure sorry trigonal bipyramidal structure here you can see a complex codp twice cl plus okay it is a pi coordinate complex it, in this a cobalt atom is in the low spin d7 configuration in dp is 1 2 diphenyl phosphenoethane it is a polydentate ligand it crystallizes this compound crystallizes in two forms one is a red solid that contains square pyramidal ions you can see from this structure the cobalt atom is attached to four phosphorus atom and one fluorine atom is in the exit position it is a red solid having square pyramidal structure other one is green foam that contains trigonal bipyramidal structure here you can see the cobalt atom is joined to four phosphorus and fluorine atom it is trigonal bipyramidal isomer and it exists as a or crystallizes as a green solid okay slight ligand field stabilization energy favor the square pyramidal arrangement here you can see the square pyramidal arrangement the ligand field stabilization energy is slow compared to trigonal bipyramidal structure in solution if we take codp twice cl plus in solution there is two forms interconvert readily either by a pseudo rotation or through a dissociation or recombination okay and in these cases when we dissolve this particular complex in solution both thus if it is a square pyramidal structure first then it is converted to trigonal bipyramidal one if it is a trigonal bipyramidal structure isomer it is immediately converted to square pyramidal structure by either by a pseudo rotation or by a dissociation and recombination okay the ligands can affect the geometry of a complex merely as a result of their own steric requirements you can see here a tris dimethyl amino ethyl amine that is abbreviated as ma6 3 trend that is ch3 twice and ch2 ch3 thrice and it's a tetradentate ligand form only five coordinate complexes apparently because the polydentate ligand cannot span a four coordinate tetrahedral or square planar complex and cannot conform or fold to fit a portion of an octahedral coordination sphere so a tetradentate ligand can form only a five coordinate complexes so here you can see a molecular structure of cobalt complex COBR Me6 trend Br that is bromo tris 2 dimethyl amino ethyl amine cobalt 2 cation. Okay, this is a polydentate lichen complex. Okay, in the absence of polydentate ligands that enforce the geometry. The energies of the various geometries of five coordinate complexes differ little from one another, and such complexes are often fluxional molecules. Okay, fluxional molecules in some time it has a one structure or a particular geometry, in next second or in after a few seconds, it is changes into other geometry. If it is a trigonal bipyramidal molecule, it can be changes to square pyramidal geometry so it is a fluxional molecules in the absence of polydentate ligands that enforce the geometry the energies of the various geometries of five coordinate complexes differ little that is trigonal bipyramidal square pyramidal energy difference is very small so they can be interconvertible such a complexes are often called fluxional complexes Side preferences in trigonal bipyramidal complexes. More electronegative elements prefer the axial positions of a trigonal bipyramidal structure. Most DN configurations follow the same pattern. That means if it is electronegative element is present in the ligand, 
that prefer always prefer the axial positions of trigonal bipyramidal structure. Exception D5, which favors the electropositive substituents at apical sites or axial positions and electronegative substituents at equatorial sites. Exception for the DN configurations that is D5. In this case, axial positions occupied by electropositive substituents and electronegative substituents occupy at the equatorial positions. The normally weak bonding of axial substituents is reversed with the D8 configuration. Methyl group in the axial position in the D8 iridium 1 complex in contrast to its universal equatorial position in phosphorines. Here you can see a normally weak bonding of axial substituent is reversed with the D8 configuration. In the case of iridium 1, it's a D8 configuration compound or complex in its uh, equatorial position is obtained by the phosphorines. Okay. Axial position is with the methyl group. In contrast to the phosphorines, the axial bones are shorter in iron pentacarbonyl than are the equatorial bonds. In FeCO5, it is a trigonal bipyramidal structure. Here you can see equatorial CO group and axial sevo group here the bond length that is axial bond length is shorter we always expecting the axial bond length is higher than the equatorial bonds it depends of the compound in this particular fsco5 molecule the axial bond bonds are shorter than the equatorial bonds the same type of analysis predicts that in D8 complexes, the good pi accepting ligands will favor equatorial position. Same type of analysis, D8 complexes, good pi accepting ligands will favor the equatorial positions. Note the most of the ligands occur in both axial and equatorial positions, depending upon what other ligands are present. Okay. Note. The most of the ligands occur in both axial and equatorial positions depending upon whether what the nature of other ligands. Best pi acceptors will always choose an equatorial position. We can arrange them in the following order. The order is NO plus greater than CO greater than CN minus greater than SNCl3 minus, greater than Cl minus, greater than Pr3, greater than C2H4, greater than CH3 minus. So here you can see MnCO4 NO. Here you can see the NO is present at the equatorial position. Okay. And in the case of Iridium compound here phosphorus, phosphorus, but CN SNCl3 is present at the equatorial position. Here you can see Cl ligands, P phosphine types ligands, but NO, it is a most NO plus, so it is acts in the pi acceptor, it is in present in the equatorial position. Here you can see the CO group, INCN, CN, CO. CO is more pi acceptor and it greater than that of CN minus here. So, CN minus go to the axial position and CO placed in equatorial position. And here in the case of iridium complex, SNCl3 at the equatorial position. So, best pi acceptors will choose. Okay. Best pi acceptors will choose always an equatorial position than the axial position. With the site preference in square pyramidal complexes, in square Pyramidal geometry, the central atom may be in the plane of the basal ligands 
okay in the plane of the basal ligands or above it to varying degrees two types of central atom position one is in plane or one is above the plane okay commonly the metal atom found is lying somewhat above the basal plane this is the common way okay d0 to d6 that is d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 and d6 configuration and d10 is for the apical bond to be the strongest with weaker basal bonds okay d0 d2 d6 and d10 here the apical bond to be the strongest with the weaker basal bonds it is stronger it is weaker okay for the d5 configuration is reversed with the stronger base bonds stronger basal bonds and a weak apical bonds okay good donors usually seek the apical position good donors usually seek the apical position and d8 complexes electronegative ligands should prefer the apical position electronegative ligands should prefer the position bond length in some square pyramidal complexes you can see a niobium compound its apical bond length axial bond length is 198 micrometer basal is 204 and for manganese complex it's 258 230 its configuration is given here so apical bond length is somewhat in some cases more in some cases basal bond length is more okay you can see from this table the metal ligand bond length in picometer isomerism in coordination number 5 geometric and optical isomers are possible for coordination number 5 geometric isomerism is found in the organometallic complex dibromo dicarbonyl cyclopenta dienyl rhenium 3 okay here you can see dibromo dicarbonyl cyclopenta dienyl rhenium 3 compound both isomers have the cis isomer and trans isomer both isomers have the cyclopentadienyl ring at the apex of the square pyramid okay you can see the c5h5 minus ring is the apex or axial position of the square pyramidal geometry with the basal ligands are a halogen and a carbonyl ligands either cis fashion or in trans arrangement okay with the optical isomerism of coordination number 5 complexes optical isomerism is even more rare okay here you can see a stereo views of the inner coordination spheres about the central ruthenium atom the first two are orange isomers and last two are violet isomers of the compound here the ligand is two uh, two phosphorus atoms that is here you can see the c6h5 trisphene that is pph3 triphenylphosphine ruthenium then cf3 twice c2s2 two sulfur atoms are attached to this one and co group so co is always in the apex position okay of the square pyramidal geometry another interesting examples that combines both the geometric isomers and chirality consists of complexes of the type cis1 note that the cis isomer jacks an important sorry improper axis of rotation and is therefore chiral okay cis isomer is chiral but that the trans isomer has a plane of symmetry and will be a chiral in the absence of an asymmetric carbon in the phosphine ligand okay here you can see a molybdenum complex in which the ligand cyclopentadienyl ring ligand at the apex position and co co 
and Cl triphenylphosphine type, sorry, substituted phenylphosphine is one of the ligand. And one is this here, two CO groups are in the same side. Here it is in the opposite side, so it is a trans one. It is, it have a mirror plane, so it is optically inactive. It is an uh, active one, so it is chiral, so it is optically active. It, it, this polypropylene complex exhibit both geometrical isomerism and an optical isomerism. Okay, cis isomer is chiral, trans one is a chiral. By this I concluded here. Thank you for your attention.